Let's write the name for PbC2H3O2,2. And this can also be written like this here. In this case, we have our lead, and this is the acetate ion. And this is just another way to write the acetate ion. So let's work with the one on top in this video. So lead, that's a metal. In fact, it's a transition metal. And then C2H3O2, the acetate ion, that's a group of nonmetals. It's a polyatomic ion. So we have a metal, and the nonmetal is there. This is an ionic compound. So first, let's write the name of Pb as we found it on the periodic table. That's just lead. Then we can write the name of the C2H3O2, the acetate ion, lowercase a. And you've either memorized that the acetate ion is C2H3O2, or if you're allowed, you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions. So right now, the name we have is lead acetate. But because lead is a transition metal, we need to include the charge here. So we know the acetate ion, the whole thing, we've memorized it or looked it up, is 1 minus. 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. So the lead, it has to be 2 plus for those charges to balance out. So to show this 2 plus here, we put a Roman numeral 2 in parentheses. And that makes the name for PbC2H3O2 2 lead 2 acetate. And you may also again see it written this way. It's the same thing. We just have the acetate ion here written a little bit differently. If you're given the name and you need to write the formula, there's a link at the end of this video to help you out. This is Dr. B with the name for PbC2H3O2 2 lead 2 acetate. Thanks for watching.